Hello, and welcome back. This is the start of my second series. Now, before I begin, I just want to take a few moments to to say a huge thank you to everyone who has watched my videos and everyone who has subscribed. I was umming and ahhing about starting a Let's Play for months because I thought no one would be interested in anything I do. And it's been a week now and already I've got 30 subscribers and that just it blows me away I thank you every single one of you that said um, I'm planning on starting uh, two new series right now uh, this one which as you can see is Minecraft and after this one comes out there'll be another one um, I'm hoping everyone will find it as fun as I actually hope it will be I'm not going to say what it is. I'm hoping it'll be, you know, a bit of a surprise, a bit of a nostalgia kick for me anyway. By that I don't mean it's an, an old game. It's not that old. But its subject matter is something very nostalgic for me from my childhood. Okay. What are we doing here? This is an adventure map called From Dirt to Bedrock. And it was suggested by a viewer um, his YouTube name is Hudengurngurngtrug. Um, as Terry Pratchett would say, obviously someone who was standing at the back of the queue when they were handing out the vowels. Um, I don't know anything about this map. Well, I've, I've, I've checked the rules, and that's it. So I'm not sure what to expect. I know that there are 12 levels we have to get through. On 11 of them, we need to find four gold blocks and that's the primary way of scoring is to see how far you get get uh, get through and how many gold blocks you get there's also some bonus items on the levels but I've no idea what they are there appear to be some checkpoints set up so presumably if we die we return here and then we can use a checkpoint to quickly get back to whichever bit of the map we're on um, we have some cooked chicken that's it not even any basic tools. Now I'm assuming I'm not supposed to head off into those woods and start crafting. Um, haven't actually seen anything in the rules which tell me not to, but that would seem a bit silly to me. So this was made by Ches91 and Jellyfisher. It has 12 levels. Instructions. Make it through the 12 levels and try to make it out alive. You can only break snow and you must be on at least easy difficulty. Okay, let's check my difficulty settings. I'm currently on hard. That's what I normally play Minecraft on. I'm going to leave it on hard for now, but if I keep getting my ass handed to me, I'll drop it to normal. Because, well, I'm not that good at fighting. So, uh, make sure you find the 44 gold ingots. Now, it says here estimated time 30 minutes. I I assume that's for the dirt zone, but it could be for the entire map, in which case this will be quite a short series. But that's okay, I mean there's plenty of Minecraft adventure maps out there. Twelve bonus items on each level two. Now does, now does it mean twelve bonus items on each level, or does it mean twelve bonus items in total? So one on each level. Well, we'll find out. Once I reach the monument stand, we'll know how many I should have collected. So this is snow, the only thing I'm allowed to break. I'm going to have to really watch myself on that because, you know, your instincts in Minecraft are so quick. Yes, I'm not allowed to break anything other than snow, so obviously going out there and getting trees would be against the rules. But, let's venture in and see what we get. Okay, the ground is snow. Fair enough. I'm not getting anything out of it. Ah, there we go. One gold ingot already. Apparently if I die and lose them, then, you know, I've died and I've lost them. So it's a way of losing points if I die. Now, I'm not going to dig through all of this. Oh, I wasn't... Sorry. See? Already. I wasn't meant to break that sand because it's only snow I'm allowed to break. Okay. Well, no harm done. And if I just, you know, smack myself, there you go. Every time I accidentally break something, 
I'll smack myself on the wrist. And hopefully I will... Ah. There's no other way out. Okay, in that case I do have to dig the, um... Dig through all the snow. I obviously have to tunnel. To find the exit. Oh, a shovel would be good about now, wouldn't it? Okay, this isn't just all going to be... Ah, there we go. There's a way out. Okay, what have we got? What do we have? Hmm. Level 2 sand. What? Really? That was it for the dirt level? Okay, well, there's meant to be four gold ingots in each thing. Maybe it is 30 minutes for the whole map. You know, I mean, if that's the case, then, um, you know, we might even get it done in one session. So it wouldn't be a, um, a new series, it would just be a one-off. But that could be fun too. Do I really have to dig out all this snow? Okay, there must be a... how many layers is it? It's that many layers. So I'm going to strip mine this. There we go, there's a chest. If I strip mine through here, it'll be as quick as possible. And I might, depending on how long the entire recording is, I might speed up the search. You know, give you a high speed sequence. Ah, there we go. Okay, there's the four gold ingots. Ah, piece of dirt. Is that the bonus item that that is meant to go on the Victory Monument? Um, hmm. It might be. Oh, did not mean to pick up that sand. I'll put it back where I got it from. There we go. Hmm. Well, I, I'm going to be thorough and just strip mine the rest of this place because it won't take too long. Everything still recording? Good. I'm getting a bit paranoid about that since that time on the skyblock challenge I forgot to record fraps so you know forgot to start it going so now I'm sort of like constantly double checking that fraps is recording and audacity is recording I use audacity to record my voice because that way I can do a separate sound balance you know I can like there was uh, those scenes in the skyblock challenge where it was raining all the time and it was really loud and if I'd have just recorded my voice in fraps, I wouldn't have been able to separate the sounds out. No, I think this is it for in here. Okay, nope, that's um that's a relatively thorough search. And there's nothing else in here. So, I think it is one bonus item per level. So, now I know that once I've got the four gold blocks and the bonus item, then I'm done. Right, so I'm going to move that up to there. That way I'll be able to know which gold blocks came from which section. Level 2, sand. Okay, this does not bode well for this coming series of jumps I need to do when I can't even get up that. There we go. Alright, what have we got? Got some water and a chest down there. Ah, there's a ladder. Let's go find out what's in this chest. Some more cooked chicken. And I believe that's a piece of snow. With another chest. Three gold ingots. Okay, that was easy enough. Now we just have to do the jumps. But there's a nice water pool down there which will reduce the amount of damage we take. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Right. Cactus. Cactus. Hmm. I'm going to jump this way. I jumped the wrong way. <laughs> Ah, see, I thought I was being clever because that looked like the more obvious jump, so I decided to do the more tricky jump on the basis that that might be to my advantage. 
But I was wrong. It's getting dark. Oh dear, that means mobs are going to start attacking me. Oop. Right. Wah. Okay, okay. Cactus maze. Cactus maze. Well, the good news is, that's our first checkpoint. Means we can come back in here if we die. That's a dead end. <sighs> I feel like a rat in a maze. Oh! Except the maze is made of stuff that bites me. There we go. That's four gold ingots. There should still be a bonus item in here. Presumably a block of sand somewhere. But I don't see anything. There's some snow there. But how do I get to it? Aha. Okay. Ah, okay, this is the gravel level. Um, where's the bonus item? There must be... Ah! <laughs> there we go. One block of sand, four gold ingots. So far, I think we're, we're 100%. I keep using the plural, don't I? We're 100% and so on. I think it's a habit I'm not going to break. I think it's because, in my mind, you're all here with me. You know. I mean, that's what makes this fun for me. There's another checkpoint. There's a chest there with three gold ingots, so there's just one more to find. And the bonus item. Alright, this is obviously a jump puzzle. Um, and quite a tricky one in places. Ah, there's another chest there. Hey! We're done. We've got everything we need from the gravel level. Let me just rearrange these like so. That way we know what level we got what on. So I've just got to make it up these things. Ah. Am I going to have to double tap and run? Because, ugh. <laughs> okay, this may take some time. Cue the Keystone Cops music. Ah, oh, bollocks. Start again. This is going to take a while, and it's the sort of thing I've got to concentrate so much on uh, that I'm probably not going to talk much. Uh, do I have to, like, parkour style it and sort of not stop moving? So I've got to sort of, like, jump, jump, jump. Uh, that's going to be really annoying. Oh! Okay. Now, the annoying thing is is that I'll probably never be able to do that again. So I just have to hope that... that... Uh, the rest of the course is kind to me. Oop. Right. Jump onto the ladder. Now where? Ah, there. Oop. Ooh another running jump. How many blocks is that? One, two... Is that a running jump? I don't think it is. Oh! Crud. <sighs> okay. And a... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. Positive thinking. We will do this. Right. Oh. oh. Okay. I think this is going to be a high-speed sequence now until I get up here, because... 
This is not my favourite thing to be trying to do. I'm wondering whether it would be... No. I was just thinking, could I use the block I picked up as a bonus item and place it there on the wall to stop me falling off that? I suppose I could, but then I wouldn't have it anymore because I wouldn't be able to pick it up again. <sighs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> now, one of my subscribers said what he liked about my Let's Play was that, you know, I occasionally made mistakes. It made me seem, you know, human, like, it, you know, like all the other players. As opposed to some form of internet god. Well, you can certainly see how... <sighs> ah. How fallible I am. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, this bit's easy. It's really difficult because, you know, you sort of don't know where the edge of the block is. Okay. Okay. I really don't want to have to run and jump that. Because I'll just bounce off the end, but I think I need to. Whoa. Whoa, that was close. Okay, I think I can just run and jump to there. I don't know what that one's for. Maybe it was to get at that chest. But, you know, I just jumped and got it. So. Oh, oh, there we go. Excellent, we've done the that one. So, we've got another one of them. Now I get a shovel with almost no health. Okay, I'll save that for when I really need it. What's going on here? Those are dispensers. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Hmm. Okay. If I break those, I'm not going to be able to get up there, am I? Yes, I am. I'll just stand on the chest. Right. Let's have a look. What have we got? Okay, we've got three gold ingots. There's a pattern emerging. That happens a lot. You get three at the beginning, and then you have to hunt for the other one. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Oop. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Okay. What have I missed? Hmm. Stone pressure plates. Some must be coming up. <sighs> Maybe I can get some rotting meat for free. Rotting meat? No. Oh, well, I thought it might have made a backup supply of food. Huh. I'm a little stumped. I suppose it's quite appropriate being stumped in the wood room, considering there's all these tree stumps around. Now, if those were wooden pressure plates, I'd think maybe I'd have to throw this on them. Can I just... Okay, that's got arrows. Ah, okay, there's my missing gold ingot. That has arrows. That has arrows. More arrows. I'm wondering if one of these has maybe some blocks in or something that I can place. There it is, one wooden block. Okay. 
Well, I've got me a tree stump, so I'm no longer stumped. But those things are going to shoot arrows at me. Where's the way out? Must be, it must be there. So I'll place my block there. Aha! Missed me! Okay. Oh! No! That was the that was the bonus item for this level. Because the bonus item is always... Ah, okay. Well, if that was the bonus item, how were you... Okay, if people could tell me how I was supposed to get up here without using that wooden block. You know, I'd be interested to know. Because I think that means I've missed out on one of the bonus items. What was that? Okay, well, we've reached the cobblestone. Put all your bonus items so far into the minecart. Okay. Once you've done, push the minecart away where you'll be able to collect at the start. Okay, so minecart. Let's put in our bonus items. Now it says bonus items. Am I, am I supposed to load this with my gold as well? I'm not sure. Well, he doesn't, you know, he didn't say treasure, so I'm going to assume I have to hang on to that. Let's give that a push. And it's gone. Uh, we have some mushroom stew. I'll just take one. And a golden sword. Excellent. We're now armed. This is all for the good. Level 5, cobblestone. Water and lava. Oh, joy. Hmm. Now, I wonder if that health was so you could swim for long distances underwater without drowning. Because you used to just be able to eat food and it would instantly heal you. So you could stay underwater longer. That's not the case anymore. Because now... I'm a messy eater, aren't I? Because now when you eat food, it just lets you regenerate. But you regenerate quite slowly. Okay, I'm just going to have to... Where is there to go? There doesn't... Ah, there it is. Ah. Let me back out. Okay. Up here, I think. For a moment there, I thought, no, this isn't... Yep, I'm going to have to swim through the lava. How insane is that? Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, maybe I wasn't supposed... <laughs> maybe I wasn't supposed to swim through the lava. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. 